stop right there. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to drive, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday to drive. We want to get there by Saturday night. So we can get the car out, clean, and in line for tech inspection. We, we got to grind out essentially 12 hours a day of driving. And by we, I mean I have to grind out 12 hours of driving. I'm not It is 6 a.m. Thursday morning. We made it. Uh, I think we made it. I want to say 100 and 200 miles. We made it 163 miles last night. So we will have to see. It still says one day seven hours <clears throat> to Darlington. It's going to be a long, hard road. Saturday morning before drag week and we are about 400 miles from our destination in South Carolina and uh, we are somewhere in Alabama I think no no I think I'm in Georgia uh, it has been a grueling grueling trip I've driven 16 to 18 hours like yesterday was a 19 and a half hour day of driving today I have like a six or seven hour drive so it should be pretty early when we get to Darlington hopefully where are we South Carolina South Carolina, South Carolina. And what are we doing racing racing what cars <laughs> okay we made it here we're here at uh, Darlington Dragway and we're here for drag week. Yes, look at all this goodness. Where the race cars tow the trailers, not the trailers towing the race cars. Are you uh, bringing yours out tonight? I want to check it out. Yes, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is sick. That's really big. And the best part right here. Yes, dick. <laughs> 
Wow. Yeah, Pro Street. Oh, look at you with the all terrains. Yes. 35 inches for the highway. That's pretty rad. I was going to do that, but I, re I don't have any money, so. <laughs> <laughs> One eternity later. All right, drag week day zero is a bust. Lots of cool cars as usual, but uh, it's raining as you can see. Christopher and I are gonna go check out the starting line, but uh, unfortunately, I think day zero is done. We're not gonna get one run in. So hopefully the rest of the week it's nice and dry and the weather's good. The uh, forecast looks pretty good. Here we are. Uh, 
the weather is absolutely clear as it is. We got the cars all lined up uh, over by the uh, drag strip. We're all packed up. We're getting ready to, to start day one. I have a feeling the weather's going to be real nice this week, which is awesome. Might be a little warm, a little humid, but overall pretty good. And then next up is driver's meeting, and then we start making looks. Pass one, wastegate spring only, 10 PSI. second pass I turned the CO2 on and ran the tune-up from Bakersfield should be 27 pounds of boost but it ended up being 15 pounds of boost and this is what it ran not sure why I made 15 pounds of boost but at this point it's time to pack it up and hit the road why not I thought you were magical I am pretty yeah, that's good. A crew, that sounds like a crew chief problem you got snot on that's what happens <laughs> it's called monkey snot that's you guys gonna do the valve cover too uh, just the intake can't take the heads off. Well, I should seal mine because oh. if I have to pull the intake, I'm drinking. Yeah, Good morning from North Carolina. It's day two of drag week. 
We're just gonna finish up the drive the last 20 miles. Finish up the last like 25 30 miles of uh of driving today and uh get to it at the track so let's get to driving session because I broke the uh, communication cable to the ECU and I had to figure that all out get with Holly get with Summit get parts ordered uh, they did have the cable but I had already loaded a tune-up into uh, into the ECU and I was confident that that was gonna work uh, we went out there to make a pass and obviously it did not take the tune-up so it ran exactly the same as it did yesterday uh, so we came back, we missed the, se the morning session because we ran into so many problems. And then uh, they wouldn't let us run. So we had to wait for the afternoon session, which was uh, after one, it was at one o'clock. And at 1.40, they closed the staging lanes. So super frustrating because by the time we got in lanes, by the time they ran us, it was 1.30. And by the time I got back, there was just no way we could turn the car around in time. And uh, so it's just really lame to like do it like that. So we're, as you can tell right now, I'm super frustrated. And uh, so we got a long drive ahead. It's already late in the afternoon. It's gonna be a late night. And uh, so that is day two.
I think he's had enough. <laughs> Look at all the oil on the windshield. Ugh. Headers are nice and warm, huh? Yeah. Day two, day three, morning of, we're heading to uh, Bristol Motor Speedway down there. And it uh, looks like Andy's brought the fuse for the water pump, which is right. So we're on the side of the freeway. We're trying to get a revving. Hopefully, it just blew the fuse and that's it. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine
Bristol Speedway. Look at it. Yeah, it's beautiful. We just finished day three. We're gonna do the drive now, 264 miles. That's Tennessee Hill Country, something else. We're gonna finish converting the car over and pack this thing up and get on our way. Or uh, Carolina Dragway, the House of Hook. It is five in the morning. We're trying to get up early because I gotta do header gasket, get everything figured out for our run today. Got a few issues. One is the car wasn't cooling very well last night. The temperature would swing wildly and then it would level off and be fine. But when we got in last night, I let it was hot. It was like 220 degrees. And I let it sit with the water pump and the fans on for, I don't know, a good five minutes. And it went down to 185 and it stopped. It wouldn't go any cooler. And then the fan was blowing cold air and the radiator was cold, which means one of two things. Either the water pump's not working or the uh, motor's got, it's got no water in it. And it is low on water. So that means we might have a head gasket out because it certainly doesn't have a leak. All right. We'll see you at the track next. That's going to do it for this week's video. Tune in next week to find out whether or not we've finished Drag Week. So far, it's been a long, hard road with long days of driving. And also, I recently just discovered that the engine is consuming coolant. I suspect it's a head gasket. I did bring gaskets, but I don't know if we're going to have time to change them out. Also, we have a boost leak, so stay tuned to find out if we fix our head gasket issue and or we fix our boost leak and the car actually runs like it normally does. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment on the video down below to tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.